guys, what's up? Welcome to Blogging Up, and this is my review of Hancock. Before I jump into the review, I just want to say this movie is not for kids. If you're planning on taking your kids to this movie, do not bring them. It's not a movie for kids, even, the tra even though the trailer gives the impression that's a family movie, it's not. The word asshole is used so many times. The word asshole itself is a joke in the movie. If you call Hancock an asshole, he gets really pissed off, he beats the crap out of you. Kind of like the way Mary McFly kind of went crazy when you call him chicken in Back to the Future. Same thing with Hancock with the word asshole. Also, there is a u there is a usage of the word fuck and shit in this movie. So yeah, do not take your kids to see it. When I went to see the movie, there were a lot of kids. And it was kind of a shame that the, the marketing had to give off the impression it was a family movie when it wasn't. But uh, anyway, I'm going to split this review into three different parts. First part is when Hancock is a drunk. He's everyone hates him. He's a useless superhero. So the first part of this movie is the best part of this movie. It's got the most comedy. It's got a lot of action. It's a different take on a superhero, which I thought was really interesting. And then you go to the second part of this uh, movie. It's when when you see the trailer, Hancock goes to jail because Jason Bateman's character tells him basically, if you go to jail and you serve time and try to be a better person then people will love you and Hancock does this because he wants people to like him the movie takes a darker turn but there still is a lot of uh, comedic elements in it but not as much and then you head into the third part of this movie where Hancock is the hero everyone wants him to be he is uh, the good guy and he is saving people I feel when you went into this part of the movie you took away what was so much fun about the movie in the first place a drunk superhero useless and then when you take that away it's not so much fun anymore it's the character gets diluted and it's just not as good it's not like the third part there's a lot of dark elements in the third part of the movie and um, I didn't like that so much and there's a plot turn or twist or whatever and I didn't like where that um where the story went from there I kind of wish the whole movie was just about him fucking up and doing stupid things the acting in Hancock is pretty good uh, Will Smith and Jason Bateman work well together and I really like Will Smith and Jason Bateman so it was great to see them both on screen together. The Hancock character himself, there's many layers to him, it isn't like how you see him in the trailer, there's a, there is a lot more to that character. Overall I give Hancock a 6 out of 10. So before I go I have one final announcement, I now have a film site up, it's called Film Spunk. Um, what I'm going to do is post film news and give my opinion on it. So head over there, I'll drop the link here and wherever the information is, whichever side. And um, yeah, so let's celebrate to my new site.